And that is why I have introduced legislation which does two things. First, it says that every public college and university in America will be tuition free. And that does, that not only makes life easier for people who are thinking of going to college, but I'll tell you what else it does in a very profound way. There are kids today in Portland, there are kids in Burlington, Vermont, who in the third or fourth grade, they know that they're never gonna make it to the middle class. Their parents have never gone to college. They don't know anybody who has gone to college. And they're sitting around saying, why should I study hard? What difference does it make? Who cares if I drop out of school or not? When we tell every kid in America that if you study hard, you take school seriously, you will be able to go to college, that will revolutionize education in America. And the other part of that legislation deals with another hugely consequential issue. There are millions of Americans today who are suffering under the burden of outrageous student debt. And some of them are here tonight. A couple of years ago, I had a meeting in Vermont, met with a number of young people. And there was a woman who committed the great crime of wanting to become a doctor, go to medical school, and practice primary care for low-income people, exactly the kind of doctors we need. She came out of medical school $300,000 in debt. I was in Iowa a few months ago, met a woman who just graduated dental school. We have a dental crisis in America. We need more dentists. She left school $400,000 in debt. And all over this country, people graduate school $40,000, $60,000 in debt, and they are paying interest rates of 7 8 10%. Now, I don't understand how someone can refinance their home today at 2 or 3% and somebody is paying 10% interest rates on student debt. So this legislation deals with that issue in two ways. First, we are going to allow people with student debt to refinance at lower interest rates. Second of all, we're going to get the government out of profiteering on student loans. It makes no sense to me that we have millions of people who are paying 20, 25 percent of their limited income on student loans. That is going to change. When we talk about our responsibilities as human beings, as people who inhabit this planet, as caretakers for the earth. We must understand that we have a moral responsibility to leave this planet habitable for our kids and our grandchildren. Yeah. 